Hi, my name is Jamie and I'm the design lead for the Creator Expert line. I'm so excited today to reveal to you our 10th modular building. It is the detective's office. And this set is so much fun. I can't wait to tell you all about it. It follows up on the success of the Parisian restaurant and so many wonderful buildings before, but I think this takes it to even another higher level of opportunity for play and for details. We have all these wonderful minifigures. You have six minifigures. You have lots of details, like in the front, we have a newspaper box that can open up. We have brick-built lettering, which we're doing for the first time in a new way that says pool. And then when you see over here, we have a nice barber shop with some beautiful colors and beautiful details on the top. Uh, these elements right here, you might recognize from Hero Factory. We've played with Unikitty's tail up here and really had a lot of fun with elements in this building. But I think even more exciting than the outside is the inside of the building has so much story to tell. When you look at the building, the most obvious part to check out first is probably the pool hall, and this has a lot of fun stuff. When you move the fan back, it gives you lots of access to the place so you can have a good time. You can see there's a brick-built pool table inside here, and we have a nice dartboard, and that's a nice printed dartboard that we haven't had before. When we look over at the uh, barbershop, the barbershop, you can pull back the stairs because it's a fairly small barbershop like they tend to be in reality. Um, but once you pull those stairs back, you see a beautiful mirror. And that mirror is a true reflection mirror, uh, which is the first time that we've done that as well. So of course, there's another hidden story in this ground level, and that's because this is during the Prohibition days. And the minifigures have just been told they're not allowed to eat candy anymore because they're getting too wide. But we actually like the size of the minifigures, so we're smuggling some candy in through the barbershop. So the cool thing is there's a barrel here under the stairs. And in that barrel, we've got lots of candy and cookies that we can bring into them. We can go through the back section here. You can see there's a little hidden gate that can open up. And when you pull the back the stairs, you can see that this barrel will push inside here. And then on the inside, the furniture pulls back and you can bring this barrel through and under the stairs and go right into the pool hall where they can have a great party and have a good time. But of course, that party does not go unnoticed. Because upstairs is a detective's office, and it has all those great details you'd expect from an old world detective's office. You have all the messiness, you have the newspapers, and you have the map, and all those types of things. You have the evidence inside of a safe, but that's not one of his most prized possessions, because he actually has something hidden in the wall from the beautiful woman across from him, which is a letter from her. Then also on the wall you can see there's a wanted poster, and that wanted poster has a minifigure face that could almost be anybody, which is part of the fun of the set, is that he still has no idea who is smuggling all this candy inside. One additional detail that you can see on this floor is that we've included a bathroom on the end. It has a pull chain bathroom, which is the first time we've done that, and I think it adds a lot of detail and fun. And then we get to the scene of the crime. This is where all the action's happening. And that's because this is where the kitchen is. And in that kitchen, you can see it's a full kitchen. We've got the cookies being baked in the bowl and the cat just waiting for one to fall on the floor. But also you can see extended details out here where we have the nice water tower and then a skylight because they want to see if the detective's in his office. And when he's not there, that's when they run down the stairs and smuggle the things to the basement. So here we have the final building. You can see lots of beautiful brick techniques, lots of nice elements, and lots of fun minifigures and stories to tell. We hope you really enjoy the detective's office.